Okay, hello everybody, what's up? My name is Rachel Bakke, I am a product manager, and I'm really excited to talk to you guys today about accelerating open source with Samba Nova, and we had an even cooler title of It's the Time to Shift. So let's get into it. So AI is becoming a commodity, and closed source is not the only option anymore. So as you can see over here on the left chart, it's a little bit dated, but these are some really great numbers. Uh, you can see that Llama 3.1405B is really, really close and highly competitive with model providers like OpenAI as well as Anthropic. And for the most recent release of Llama 4, uh, over on the right side, you can see that these numbers are even better. They're very competitive, if not better than uh, G Gemini 2.0 Flash, as well as GPT 4.0. So there's no longer a gap, and it's a really great point in time for open source models. And with open source models, Llama 4 Maverick is extremely capable, and we're also able to run it with great speed, so you don't have to make any sacrifices. Uh, with Salmonova, we are able to get speeds up to 797 tokens per, se tokens per second. Uh, this is super important for building AI applications and definitely not something you want to sacrifice. Additionally, context length is another really important factor, and right now we have a 64K context length, but we're always working on extending that con context length as well as accelerating it to get speeds even better. And with multimodal, there's been a lot of talk today, which is really great, uh, and we're really happy that Whisper Large V3 is available on Salmonova. It is OpenAI's open source audio model, and it has really great capabilities, and we have a demo, actually, with LiveKit, funny enough. I think Michael left, but it would have been great if he was here uh, to show. So hopefully the audio works with this. Hello, how are you doing today? Hi, can you tell me who you are? I'm Samba, your friendly voice assistant from Samba Nova. We're a company that specializes in developing innovative hardware solutions, like our Can new RDU. The RDU. The RDU. It's a really exciting technology we've developed here at Samba Nova. The RDU, or Reconfigurable Data Flow Unit, is a chip that enables fast inference for AI models. It's designed to accelerate the processing of complex AI workloads, making it possible to run a wide range of models, including those from OpenAI's Whisper. Awesome, Thank Meta's you. <laughs> So all of that performance um, and these great models are available on Sambanova Cloud. Uh, this is our model providing platform where you can access this super fast inference with the best open source models through our API. And here's where you can test things out with the playground uh, and you can get and manage your API keys here. And it's super great, you can try it today and you get $5 of free credits. And all of these are the models offered on Sambanova Cloud. Uh, we're constantly adding new ones. Uh, this is really important because delivering like the best open source models uh, on a consistent basis gives our customers choice. And with this choice, people are able to choose the right model for their AI-powered uh, application. And as you can see, there's a lot of different offerings of reasoning models, really small, light, fast models, as well as embeddings, vision, and even audio, as we showed earlier. And to give some background context, um, a little bit about Sambanova, we are a hardware company founded in 2017 at the beginning of the AI boom. Uh, our founders up here, they really wanted a better way to accelerate AI models than the old GPU architecture. So they made the RDU. Uh, RDU stands for Reconfigurable Data Flow Unit. Uh, the SN40L is our fourth generation chip, and it is a really great chip to run AI. It specifically has a three-tier data flow memory. Uh, as you can see, a lot of lovely numbers. Our on-chip memory uh, helps with that really fast inference. And then our high bandwidth memory, it, it gives an ability to switch between models. And then high capacity DDR, also really helpful with holding lots of models in memory. So now we know, okay, RDU provides a lot of speed. Now really want to drive home why speed matters. Uh, with the rise of agentic AI and kind of these really complex workloads, we talked about latency earlier with voice, but it's also really important in general, even text-to-text, -text, 
Compounded, putting many tasks together can compound latency, and that can become a huge pain point for users. In a variety of applications, it can just get really frustrating, and we know that the latency of large LLMs running on GPUs has just become unacceptable, especially when open source is able to be so fast. And this is also echoed by Andrew Ng. Uh, he says fast token generation is important. Uh, generating more tokens, even from lower quality LLM, can give good results. And he also showed, um, he also made these four design patterns of agents that are super helpful of reflection, tool use, planning, and collaboration as well. And all of these design patterns really highlight the ability of having a lot of model requests as well as access to a variety of different models because these are all really different tasks can be super beneficial for agentic AI applications. And that's why Sambanova really aligns with this and makes us a great platform to build agentic AI with. As you know, like there's so many tokens involved with agents. It can go from 1K up to 50K or 100,000K. And longer context lengths are also a huge component because with reasoning models, it just increases the context a lot for sure. And with both of these, more tokens and more context, it can really expand the latency and just have longer processing times. So that's where speed is the point to really start optimizing. And we have a demo, a live demo, Hopefully the gods are on my side as well. Let's see. So this is our agentic app. It's a great way that we can showcase uh, Sambanova with agents. And the first thing, so this is accessible for everybody. All you have to do is grab your API key from Sambanova, hop in over here, and you can choose whichever model you want to have as your planner. And then, um, Let's see, companies to target research topics or company stocks and financials. Since we are at GitHub, why not try, uh, give me a financial report about Microsoft. And let's see. Awesome, so it has the planning model going, as well as over here you can see the agentic tasks, and they have there's a lot of model requests being called, a lot of tokens, and this is where speed's really important, as well as context length and having different models to run these different tasks. Aggregator, fundamental. And this is also an open source tool, so if you want to see the code of how this agentic system is built, that's available on our GitHub, which is super great to check out um, as you get familiar using Salmonova, as well as this is using an integration with Crew AI. So that's another great way uh, to get involved. Let's see. Okay, demo gods might not be on my side today, so I'll show an example. Um, this is a financial report on Apple, but this goes to show the dynamic kind of addition you can get with agents because this is clearly not just like a text response. It has so many more elements. Uh, it's a really helpful way to give that complexity for users using AI. Awesome, Apple technology. Okay, let's try another one. Let's see. Um, develop an in-depth report. Let's develop an in-depth report about, what should we do it about? We should do, um, MCP servers and tool use in AI models. And this is using um, like a deep research kind of flow. Uh, it's gonna be creating kind of a plan and then executing on that plan as well. Any questions that I can take? I like, oh, it's done already. Or no, this is just the planning tool. So I hit true, I confirm that this is a good report breakdown, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are already using the deep research from OpenAI. Uh, super interesting tool, uh, definitely, definitely takes a lot of time on its own as well. Yeah, any questions, any hot takes about agents or 
Anything, anything, anybody working on anything fun as a side project with agents? I'm sure everybody here is like a founder of something, probably. <laughs> okay. And with all of these requests compounding, you can see that it, it just comes to be a lot of tokens um, and a lot of different requests. So it's also really helpful to have a cheaper option. Uh, OpenAI and a lot of other model providers can be really expensive as well when it comes to these really high workloads. There we go. Incredible. So now you can learn even more about MCP if you didn't have enough of it tonight. Um, this actually will be helpful for myself to brush up. Um, but yeah, super, super helpful. It followed the planning um, as well as it highlights this cost, as I had kind of mentioned. And yeah, having faster, deep research. Because um, with open AIs, often I close the tab, walk away, go make a meal. But you don't have to do that. You can keep going about your day. You can keep working on what you're doing. Um, and you can see that it uses 300,000 tokens. So super helpful. And like I said, that, uh, that demo app was built using Crew AI, one of our integrations. And Salmonova, we've really wanted to empower developers to get started really quickly with us. So we have a lot of integrations, a part of the Agentic ecosystem, as well as other areas. Uh, a lot of you might be using Gradio. It's super helpful for rapid prototyping. You can quickly use it uh, using Salmonova underscore Gradio. Highly recommend. As well as Hugging Face itself, we are an LLM provider there. So really quickly to build apps and get going. And then down over here, yeah, there's a lot of our integrations listed, but you can also check them out uh, on our documentation. And in our GitHub, we have examples with them. Super fun, super fun and easy way to get started. So Salmonova Cloud, as I said before, you can try it out today, $5 of free credit, and it's a really, really fast platform. And open, open source is a really great alternative, and I highly recommend considering switching. And you can tell us more about the startup that you're working on if you have a special use case that you need uh, a lot more tokens at like a certain bulk price or something, um, or just sharing what, what cool things you're doing. Uh, we would love to communicate on the community as well as if you need like developer assistance, uh, we would love to support you there with any bugs and all of that. So you can join at community.sambanova.ai. Thank you everybody.